Hey guys, Multiclassic Gamer here. Welcome back to more Banjo Tooie Cloud Cuckoo Land. In the last episode, I think this uh, this uh, little uh, dilapidated uh, mouse is a good exam, a good, a good symbol of what happened last episode. Because I completed the first, the two Canary Main races of Cloud Cuckoo Land for the first time in my life in the last episode, and I feel more accomplished than ever. So to celebrate that, we're going to experience Wumba's, Humba Wumba's final transformation in the entire game in Cloud Cuckoo Land. So let's see it. You have Globo. Want to give to Humba? Sure, I'll just throw it in for the final time. Magic ready. Jump in Wumba Pool. I'm, to, I'm totally gonna ignore it. This is the last time we're gonna do this. Okay, so anyways, before we do this, uh, you wanna climb up here and then uh, make careful, carefully make your way across these uh, these, uh, planks here because up here is a Jinjo. Yeah, Wumba is holding a Jinjo hostage in a classic Banjo Kazooie fashion because in the last game there was one uh, Jinjo and that uh, Mumbo was holding hostage inside of his hut, so very fitting, very fitting indeed. So we're gonna get this Jinjo, and then we're gonna jump into the pool for the final time. Well, not the final time, obviously we have to transform in order to get back to Banjo Kazooie, but guess what? Wumba's final transformation is the last transformation for the last game. Wumba calls B, press A to jump, and A again when in air to fly. Use control stick to steer and press A to fly higher. Also press Z, Z for sinker attack. Yep, Mumbo's B transformation from Banjo Kazooie just got ripped off by Wumba. And once again, this is our last transformation of the game. It's a ripoff of an old, I mean, like it's a it's a retread of an old transformation from Banjo Kazooie. How fitting indeed. So, first thing you want to do as the bee, you're going to fly all the way to the top of Cloud Cuckoo Land because up here, as I mentioned before, this is the Zumba Hive. Yep, they upgraded to an entire, like the giant beehive at the top of Cloud Cuckoo Land from that tiny little beehive they had in uh, Clock, uh, Clip Clock Wood. Of course, I guess it wasn't small compared to Banjo and Kazooie, but yeah. Compared to this, compared to the beehive itself in uh, Click Clock Wood, this is a big, huge, huge, huge upgrade. So, anyways, uh, in order to gain access to the Zumba beehive, you have to first. Uh, actually, I think it's just called the Zumba hive. But basically, you have to hit this uh, hit this target uh, the correct amount of times in a limited amount of time. You don't, you don't get you don't get uh, a lot of time to do this, so you need to really get all the shots in at once. So you need to make sure you have plenty of space when you get the first shot in, so that way you can just make all of them at once. So I don't know how far we're going to go out here. It's really hard to judge how far we are now, but this should do. So just uh, aim directly at it and just fire away. Now, shoot this lots of times. You get 10 seconds to shoot it 20 times. There we go. Just gotta have the right distance. Nice shooting. Why not come inside? Yeah, as long as you get to have the right distance and you're aimed directly at it, which in the first shot is your chance to get yourself aimed properly and pos position properly. Then you can get there. Well, there's uh, Mumbo's hut down there again. So anyways, here we go. Inside the Zumba Hive. It's, impo it's impossible to get up here as Banjo Kazooie. You have to be the bee, so... And there's no preliminary stuff you have to do for the B transformation. Greetings! As you can see, we Zubbas have a new nest. To celebrate, we've arranged a little shooting mid game. If you score 40 points or more, we'll give you a prize. Manage to beat 50 points, and there's an extra special prize for you. Do you need any instructions? Nope. Same mini game we've already already played a million times now. Once again, blue equals three points, green equals two, red equals one. So just fire away. Simple 
was ever. Yeah, whenever you see a blue one, just aim directly for it. Otherwise, just uh, fire in all directions, pretty much. It's not a lot of... There's, there's plenty of room, mar plenty of margin of error, so you don't have to worry about uh, losing that much. But yeah, just to uh, get as many as you can, so that way you can get that... Uh, you get it, all the prizes, including that Cheeto Page and the uh, Jiggy. Oh yeah, don't hit any of them, because apparently they, they, they damage you as well, so be careful. We already got it, actually. Yeah. There we go. We already got both prizes. So that's pretty awesome. Okay. So we'll just get our score as high as we possibly can, and that'll be the end of it. It's, uh, it's a very simple mini game, but it's a lot of fun. Just like all the other mini games we play. Simple but fun. There we go. <laughs> nice angle. Nice shooting. He's scored enough to win the second prize. Amazing! You also got enough to win the first prize, too. Alright. Let's get our prizes now. Shield page is right here. Ugh. Yeah, sometimes it's really hard to control where you, where you land as the bee. It's just as difficult as it is to control where you land when you're flying as, as Kazooie. Okay, so there's only one more Cheeto page left in the entire game. Now let's get that Jiggy. Whatever it is. Oh, there it is. Sometimes you have to kind of look around for it, just like with the, the submarine minigame back in Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Do you want to play again? Oh, no. No, no, I didn't want to play again. You again, all this stuff is gone, but Blaz does it again. Uh, how about no? Let's can't let's get out of this. Can't believe I accidentally hit. Hey, I was I was trying to advance the dialogue, not trying to press A. Let's just leave. Do that. There we go. Oh my God, music is still playing. What if it? What if the minigame kept on going even when you're outside the high? That'd be pretty funny. Whatever. Okay, so that's it for that. But we still have one more thing to do as the bee. So we're going to fly around here and look for, see if we can find. So you hear that sound? That was an eyeball, eyeball is jiggy up. You need to destroy all of them. And once you do, you'll get a jiggy. But I think you don't have to destroy them in any particular order. I mean, like there's one, like there's one that it shows whenever Grunty is talking. That's the one that they want you to kill next, but I think pretty much for the most part you can go for anyone actually. There's no one to go order. What? A second Mumbo Hut? What's up? What, what's up with that? That's weird. Okay. Huh. That is very, very odd. Maybe Mumbo has two different things he can do after all. I thought it was I thought he only had one Mumbo pad, but maybe there's two different uh, things Mumbo can do depending on which hut you go to. There you are, you little bastard. There we go. So yeah, one of them has a Jiggy inside of it, but it doesn't matter which which one you destroy. You have to destroy all of them in order to get the Jiggy, because if you destroy the one that has a Jiggy inside of it, it's just going to teleport to the next Eyeballs, eyeballs Jiggy. Um. So let's fly around and find the next one, I guess. If I'm not mistaken, I think there's like five of them total, and you just have to go to each of the, each of the particular viewpoints in order to see all of them, I guess. That's pretty much my only advice here. It's probably going to be the last episode I record today because I'm pretty much, uh... Well, I, I think it's today is Wednesday, and, well, not Wednesday, actually, Tuesday. I, I have tomorrow off from work, so I can record pretty much the rest of this game probably tomorrow. But I have, uh, like half of today off. I have work at 7 p.m., and it's currently 4.45 in the afternoon, so... I have less than three hours until work, so I gotta... Here we go. Quick, you fool! Pass the jiggy on! Okay, so that's next to the blue mumbo hut, so we'll... So once we see a blue mumbo hut, then we're... Oh, it's right there, over there, okay. Yeah, unfortunately, unlike the... As Kazooie, there's no way to fly faster as the bee. You just have to just keep going the same direction. Now, that disgusting thing up there, that's a cheese thats a cheese wedge up there. And there's a Jiggy and a Jinjo inside of it, so eventually you'll have to make your way over to it, unfortunately. Despite how disgusting it is. Okay, so where's the next side ball? Jiggy on? Right there. My rare eyeball is Jiggy on plants! 
You killed them all! Yes, I did, Grunty. Now give me that jiggy. Yeah. Alright. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that's the last thing he can do as the, as the bee. So now we're going to fly back to... Ever so slowly. Back to... Oh! Now that jelly castle down there is a jiggy inside there, so don't forget that as well. But, uh, yeah, as I was saying, we're going to fly back to Wumba's Wigwam, which is all the way down there in that purple platform. So I'll meet you guys there, because... You know what, obviously, you don't want to sit through me flying all the way over there, because that'll take some time. Okay, here we are. Wumba, it's time to say goodbye, because this is the last time we're going to see you until the very end of the game. So, and this is your last transformation. So, Wumba, thank you so much for all your help. You did us very well on our adventure. You did us very good, whatever. Point is... Your help was very much appreciated, Wumba, and I hope to see you in, a, in another future game. Thank you so much. Alright, so as much as I hate goodbyes, that's pretty much goodbye for Wumba until the very end of the game. We get no more help from her for the rest of the game, literally, so... Yeah, appreciate the help that you get while you get it, because this is the last time you're going to get from Mumbo and Wumba, but that's okay, we still got Mumbo's help to get. But we gotta take care of everything first, and part of preparing for Mumbo's parts in this world is to find all the spots that you're supposed to plant these seeds in. Remember these two seeds we collected here? Well, there's, there's two spots. You have to plant them in Cloud Cuckoo Land, so you have to find all those spots, or both those spots before you can use Mumbo, if you don't want to have to tr use Mumbo twice, so... You know, just if you want to save time, that is. So... I believe... There is actually, there is a Jinjo here inside the central cavern that, but you're supposed to get to it as a uh, Kazooie. So I'm going to try and find that Jinjo actually before we end off this episode. This episode's probably going to be a little bit short because there's a lot of cutting. I don't know what, you know, what point the episode actually is actually supposed to end. But uh, the Jinjo is up there, actually. So as Jinjo, as, as Jinjo, as Kazooie, I'm going to hover over to this, uh... Shock jump pads, so we can get up to this Jinjo up here. There we go! Purple Jinjo family is also co almost complete. I said, almost said also complete. Okay. So it's up here. Okay, obviously, something we can't get to is just because we alone. What the heck, man? I can't see these guys coming. Yeah, that's, I think, okay, I think that's the main problem with these guys, that you can't see them coming when, you, when you're when you approaching them. That's what's so annoying about them. Okay, let's see what's out here. I think this is where that red mumbo skull is. Huh. All right. Well, the flight pad's out here. I do know there is something we can do as a uh, Kazooie at that garbage can, so maybe, maybe we could go over there next? That's what I'm thinking. So how about we go into the trash? Because that's what we are. We're nothing but trash, right? No, I'm just kidding, obviously. Oh, you know what? No, let's hatch the egg first. While, I'm th while it's on my mind, while it's right there in front of my face, let's hatch it. Uh, Kazooie. Kazooie! Oh my god. Kazooie, please land. Thank you. Like I said, landing is very annoying in this game sometimes. <laughs> So first you gotta hatch this egg as Kazooie, and then also you have to put that, that's one of the, this one, that's one of the spots for the seeds actually right over there. So I'm wondering if I could simply go there as Kazooie and hatch it, I'm wondering. i will find out real quick actually. Oh god. Oh boy, I think we're about to die. Okay. Yes, our health gets refilled, okay, that's good. Yeah, where was I, oh. I totally forgot which entrance I came out of too, that's the thing. It's right over here. Fine, whatever. Take your take your non-existent fall damage, Kazooie. Do what you need to. Let's move on here. Okay. Okay, not you. What I want is my flight pad. My flight pad. Here we go. Okay, so trash can's right, right below us, but I wanted to see if I can plant the seed without Banjo. I hope I don't need Banjo to plant it. I really hope so. I need Banjo! Dang it! Okay, never mind then. Alright. So I guess Banjo has to hold stuff over his head in order for it to count. Well, that's great. Just great. 
So we have to come back as Banjo to just to plant that seed, and then we have to come back again after it's been sprouted by Mumbo. Great. Oh, well, yeah, I just spoiled that the fact that Mumbo actually sprouts stuff. Oh, again? Seriously? Looks like Kazooie's gonna land straight in the lava side of Hellfire Peaks. Okay, well, maybe while he's down, while she's down here, there she can uh, take care of the business we need to take care of down there, because we do have to go back down there pretty soon. Once we're done here in Cloud Cuckoo Land. Ooh, there's actually a... There are notes up there. Okay, all right. I'll keep that in mind for later. Wait, was there something that Kazooie's supposed to do on this, uh... Like, this thing up here? Yeah. I think it involves the Claw Clan boots, though. Is there something up here? I don't know if there are or not. Yeah, obviously there's something you need to do with the Claw Clan boots. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's go over here as Kazooie alone. Because inside here is a spot where for the clockwork eggs. So you take it inside here and go to the end of the path because over here is another one of the numbers for the super stashes combination. You see number nine actually, so this is actually supposed to be the second one you get. Nineteen, huh? Huh. Sounds very peculiar, doesn't it? All right, well, at any rate, uh, that's going to be for, th for this episode, y'all. Next time on Banjo 2, we're hopefully going to start making some actual progress. Okay, I, I keep saying that I'm making no progress, but I did actually take care of everything with the B in this episode, so. My progress was not in vain this episode. So, see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.